If you want to learn how to increase your vertical and get from this to this, like I did in a matter of months, and be able to dunk a basketball, then you're watching the right video. Today I'm going to be giving you my top 10 plyometric workouts with the amount of sets you should do and how many times a week you should be doing this, so you can increase your vertical jump. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Number 1. Seated Jumps This is one of the best plyometric workouts that is incredibly easy to do and will increase your jump speed and your vertical. So with the seated jump, you're going to go from a seated position and jump either straight up or as far as you can depending on what you are trying to work on. I recommend doing about 5 to 8 reps of these for 3 sets. And if you do this consistently, the speed of your jump and how high you're getting off the ground will improve. Number two, split squat jump. This one also targets the speed of your jump, as well as strengthening each leg for jumping off of one leg instead of two. With the split squat jump, you're going to have one leg up on a lifted platform. You need a table, a couch, and if you have access to a gym, I recommend a bench. While that one foot is up, you're going to jump up with a leg that is down in a fast explosive motion, while keeping your back straight and hands on your hips. You want to do this in a very fast and explosive motion for about 10 to 12 reps for three sets each. Number three, lateral bounce. For lateral bounce, you're going to be jumping side to side as far as you can on each leg while bending down on that leg in your landing and exploding back up to the next one. Make sure you're getting down as far as you can before each jump. For this, I recommend doing about eight reps for three sets each. Number four, Bulgarian split squat. This is the same as the split squat jump, but instead of the jump at the end, you're going to be squatting down as far as you can and then going up. This is the only one on the list I recommend doing with weights. If it is getting easy, you can hold dumbbells in each hand. For Bulgarian split squats, you can choose the amount of reps depending on how much weight you're using, but for body weight, I would do about 10 reps. Number 5, Squat Jumps Squat jumps are an explosive squat straight into jumping as high as you can, and on a landing, you're going to be squatting down again into a continuous jumping squat. For about 12 reps for three sets. Number six, sprinter step ups. For sprinter step ups, you're going to find a box or a sturdy table that you can put your foot up onto without struggle. Once you have your foot up, you're going to stand up on the box with a fast step. Once you have the motion on that step, you can jump up with that one leg still on the box. So, like shown in this video, you do this motion and then instead of just standing up, you jump up. I would do this for about 10 to 12 reps for three sets. Number seven, triple broad jump. On a triple broad jump, you're going to do like shown here. You're going to jump as far as you can off of two legs three straight times with no rest, being as fast and explosive on the jumps as you can, for about five reps with two to three sets. Number eight, jump rope. This seems like the most simple one, but for those of us who have never jump rope before, it can be difficult to learn. But once you get the rhythm and can do it for five or even 10 minutes straight, this is an absolute best workout for increasing your vertical jump and your balance. These are a few different ways you can do jump rope, either two foot, one foot, or alternating between your left and right foot. I suggest doing five minutes of each. Number nine, broad jump to a box jump. I covered the box jump in my last video if you want to go check it out. It's one of the most useful workouts for gaining a better two foot vertical jump and is one of the reasons I can dunk now. But for the broad jump to a box jump, you're going to be doing a broad jump, like shown in the triple broad jump, which is jumping as far as you can off two feet, and then going straight into a box jump, which is jumping straight up from a squatted position on a box or elevated object. Number 10. Last but not least is the single leg broad jump. This can really strengthen your one leg vertical, and in my opinion, it's the best one leg plyometric. For the one leg broad jump, you're going to be doing a broad jump, but instead of two feet, you're going to be going off one. Once again, I believe plyometrics is really the main reason I'm able to dunk today. It took me from barely touching the net last year to being able to easily dunk this year. But you have to really want it, because it is hard work, but I promise you, if you stick with it, in the end, it will work out. I hope this helped, and as always, this is Jeff 3K.